Next in line is Becoming Part 2 again. I've never played the game, but I have to agree with this. I mean, it looks atrocious. Aha, so you haven't played it. Something I just can't get over is how you think people with 3 posts shouldn't be respected, but you, with 11 posts, should be. Here's a good idea. Have a point. It makes it so much more interesting for the listener. I'm sorry, am I the one that joined the forum just to say that the game sucks? Now I'm gonna be honest here. I actually joined Screw Attack so that I control them. Then I figured out that this existed. Also, what does post count have to do with being able to afford Connect? I guess fanboy logic isn't normal logic. Didn't Churro say this already? And don't say that he didn't see it, because he just quoted Churro. 1. I'm saying in general people can't afford Connect, not just the low posters. I'm saying that some people seem so adamant about hating Sonic they make an account to nominate and vote for it when they haven't even played it. 2. You can't judge a game without playing it. I hate to go to the extreme, but that's like hating a person just by looking at them. Research can only bring you so far. Story, you can look it up online. Music, YouTube, graphics, pictures. Gameplay and control, the most important two things, you have to play to truly understand. I'd be more than willing to play Free Riders if Connect wasn't so much. 3. Post count is experience on this site. I wasn't saying they didn't know about gaming, I'm just saying it sounds like they signed up just to vote for it. On a side note, I'm aware that people that have been at ScrewAttack for years can vote for Sonic Free Riders without playing it, but it takes a little bit more dedication to make an entire account to do it. 4. I hear this argument, Doctor Who, a lot, and it doesn't work. Just because other people do it does not make it right, especially when they are the exact same people voting for different things. Remember kids, in the wrong hands, democracy can be evil. Dude, you're paranoid. There's not some huge amount of people making accounts here just to vote against Might Sonic. It might sound irrational, but was the Sonic fanbase ever the opposite? No one cares about Sonic enough to do that anyway. You have no idea how many old school Sonic fans there are out there, do you? People just vote against it because they didn't like it, or because they thought it looked stupid. Oh, and just to make you mad, Mario is infinitely greater than Sonic, and always has been. <laughs> Wait, when did Mario get into this? I'm sorry, but your trolling isn't working. Really, though, this thread is silly, and your fear that there's some giant anti-Sonic conspiracy is silly. You know what game also looked stupid? Wind Waker. There was a time when I didn't like The Legend of Zelda because the main character's ears were pointy. That was when I was five years old. Fine, go ahead and vote with your ignorance. But if I see Free Riders was the worst 360 game of 2010 according to Screw Attack on Wikipedia, I'll be sure to delete it. And now we are introduced to the main villain of this story. I like this Fred. When I typed, I never played Free Riders, I thought to myself that somebody better not call me out on that, because that would be stupid. You mad? He's never played it. Oh, that silly goose. <laughs> Am I the only one that notices irony in this? Wah! People don't like the things I like, therefore, I must make a big deal out of it and tell everyone they're wrong. Game over, thinker. All confirmed. Aren't misinterpretations great? Anyway, moving on, Churro Assassin responded to my four-point post. And the voice actor for Churro wanted to put in his own two cents. Now, I'm not gonna say that his opinion completely reflects mine. I hated this person the first time I met him. You tell yourself that, buddy. From all seriousness, why are you so quick to defend a game you have never played? Likewise, buddy. Yeah, some of the people who voted didn't play either. What? Why, why would they vote for it? You idiots! Why would they vote for that game? Ugh, whatever. They have to be so sure that not only the nervous people but voted it on Connect in the game. So in other words, they voted because they hate Sonic. No wonder I hate the Sonic fanbase, it's full of retards. I was like, mm. but I've never playtested or played at a friend's house. This friend is pointless. No comment. Also, I wasn't using Doctor Who as an argument. Yes, you were. It's okay. Yes, you were. I was using it as an example. Doctor Who sucks. Don't worry, British people and people of other it's an easy watch Doctor Who and argue about the game. Sure, yeah. You can tell by looking at it. Even like controls the most important aspects of the game. 
somewhat true. Gameplay, yes, but not really control. Let me go hand in hand. And control stuff, the gameplay stuff us. It's connected. The controls are bad. Can't fix it. You know, you have a control. Now that is. If you literally play the game yourself, enjoy it. There's probably a little argument, but you have it. So screw off. Keep down on yourself, Jarrah Assassin. Because you're totally trying to make yourself look cool on the streets. You see, the problem with this guy's argument is that I'm not the one that voted Sonic Freeriders for the worst game of the year on the Xbox 360. I'm gonna be honest, I voted for a completely different game without playing it. I did this because I wanted to experiment and see what would happen. Not to my surprise, I felt pretty bad about voting for a game I never played. I then did a second test with the Wii games. You see, I'm a huge fan of the first Super Monkey Ball games, but I've never really liked the later ones. When I saw that Super Monkey Ball Step and Roll was a nomination for the worst Wii game of 2010, I voted for it, hoping that Legacy would make me feel better. It didn't. It made me feel even worse. So how is it that I'm the only one that feels bad about voting for games I've never played before? These last few posts by you guys have been actually quite scary. I'm not trying to say that Sonic Freeriders is good. I'm saying that you guys, who also have never played, yet I'm the bad guy, lol, Sonic Freeriders, think it's okay to hate it without even playing it. I'll repeat myself. I am neutral to this game. If people voted it for the best game of the year and never played it, the same thread would exist. I wasn't going to make this post, but since all of you are attacking me because I haven't played it, yet at least 90 voters, the amount that leads Sonic Freeriders from Fighters Uncaged in the Saggies, I felt obligated to do so. Yeah, why are you mad? Because some idiots who never played the game, which you have not played, nominated it with the people who have nominated and think deserves the award? I said it once and I'll say it again. You'd be surprised with what Sonic fanboys would do. Also, he posted a four minute video of Mark Hamill laughing. Since that's way too long, here's just a few of them. <laughs> if people voted it for the best game of the year and never played it, the same thread would exist. Do you know what's bullshit? As I mentioned before, they did have a thread where you could vote for the best game of the year, but you had to say why. So I can't really prove my statement, can I? Now these next two posts aren't gonna make any sense. You see what I mean? They're periods. Pikmin8745 is a guy I know from YouTube who tried to help me with this. However, when he realized there was no getting through to them, he just edited his posts. 